Hello everyone, it's again and Who here, welcome to episode 8 of Let's Play Scooby Doo Mystery Mayhem. In the last episode, we've gone through one of the worst minecart wise ever for dead ends and 12 an hour gameplay. It's terrible. But now we're. Well, no, okay, we're not doing that. We missed a clue, I need to go back down and get a clue. What's big and clues? What's this doing here, Scoob? There's no one. I don't know. So there you go, that's the fourth clue. Missing missing two now. One for the mine car and another one at the end. Okay, where are we? And also as you can see on the chalkboard, that's where the uh com locker combination is. I guess school key. What we need to get out, but yeah. As you can see on the chalkboard, board asked the white locker combination 137. And we got the last clue as well, so we're only missing out one from the stupid minecart what? Minecraft? Oh god. Minecart wide, so yeah. Now the game, ta now the game tells us to catch all the dust that was now. Which we still can't do because the dust Dale page is in the locker. But since we now know the code, we can now get it. We can now get access to the, the locker now. So I must well save right now. I'm a bit tired. And yeah, there's a. This. I don't know. No, I don't know what I'm talking about. Nope, nope, go away. So, I'm going to be heading back to this. Putting these on. So these don't annoy me. Oh, weird, the costume. The costume fears I'm playing. Another audio bug. However, I'm heading back to the minecart wide for, for two reasons, actually. Why are we. We head back here. That's where the ham is. And now we have every ingredient in episode 3. Now it's time to take care of the last clue. It's, it's around here somewhere, so we gotta take this pathway. Duck here. Go left here. Jump. Head right. Jump over this hole and lean to the left. And there you go, that's where the fourth clue is. Because of course they'll hear hide a clue in that stupid minecart wide. But hey, now we're going all of the clues in, in episode 3 now. It's now time to head back to that stupid locker, safe, whatever you want to call it. Like you go first? And get that dust devil page. Okay, time to input the white code. And so the code is 137. So let's put that in. Why are you waiting for pass me? Put in the code. Put in the code. There we go. There we go. And we finally had the, du the dust devil page. So now I can take care of all those annoying tornadoes. Okay, so let's go take care of them. Because, yeah, if I, if I head back here, and God, this is a terrible place to navigate. Come on. Yeah, so if I go back here, that's where the locker combination is, 137. Because I actually didn't realize it, the, 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 the locker code was actually there, so... Orca cut there, but... It's time to s suck out all these dust devils. Get in the book. 
and you too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. I need more energy though, and this guy's just gonna stalk us. Thanks a lot. Ugh. Damn it! Let's get some more and come back here. Thank you. Ugh. Okay, so now I can finally go in there now. But it's Velma here, so we let's verify all the clues we got on now. Nope, we found an all. So let's go to get descriptions for the clues in episode three now. This is a note from Zabrinsky. It says, "Keep sending out monsters until C is ready to sell." This seems to be a photograph of Zabrinsky standing next to a saloon dancer. This is a one-way train ticket for the coast. This is a map of all the tunnels under the theme park. This perfumed white wig looks as if it was part of a saloon dancer costume. Hmm. Okay, there we go. That's all the clues. Same thing. We're now at the end of episode 3. Let's... Go wander around, take a last look at where this goes town, because I do pretty like this area, honestly. Okay, yeah, I wanna we we own a squeeze snacks. Unfortunately they're all the way back there and I could have grabbed a box, but whatever. Doesn't matter, I wanna we heal up. So let's head all the way to this train car here. And Let's deal with the third third boss battle, yeah. Rono! Scooby! Come on, Scoob, let's put those wind bags where they belong. Scooby Doo! Not again, Fred and Daphne. Oh, why are you too long? At least Velvet hasn't been captured once. She only lost her glasses, but Fred and Daphne keep getting themselves in trouble. So yeah, here we have this gigantic dust devil here, and he'll and he'll keep spewing out little tinier dust devils. And we want to take care of all of them. And yeah, this part's pretty annoying because well. There's two dust deals everywhere. That will constantly get you all in a twist. And the only way to refuel the book is is with the fagger around constantly dropping little wispins everywhere. And hey! So yeah, this is gonna be pretty annoying. Okay. Gone. Going down a little bit to help back. Okay, here's another one. Well, two of them anyway. Yeah. They'll try to push towards you and get get you, so be careful with that. And Okay, halfway there. No whispers. Oh, never mind. Here's one. All right, get in the book. Or spin in the book. <laughs> that's that's a good one too, Shaggy. Ugh, out of energy again. I need more wisp energy. No, not the ones with Sonic colors. Okay. Don't give me yellow ones. They're worthless. Oh, here's a green one. Please let there be enough energy. No. 
Why, why, where do we fueling skulls? Where are they? Jeez. Okay, back to full health though, though this guy's definitely not gonna make that easy. <sighs> Just get in the book already. Still ain't done, oh my god. Oh! Looks like now we got the main one to deal with. He's the last one. Where'd he go? There he is. He is she. we go. I think this one's... See, this one's a big dust tail. It's going to take three bomb mashes to deal with. And out of energy. No! Oh god. I'm nearly dead. Okay, gonna need more wisp energy though. And Scooby Snacks. No, no, no. Ugh. Stay away from me! That's again the book. Asshole. Like we did it, Scoob! Yeah, good job, guys. Way to uh, go. Oh, you saved me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Let's see who's under that wig. Mindy, Mindy Styles. Styles? Oh, Mindy, how could you? I became suspicious when Shaggy told me about the costumes hidden in the school. Going back there, I found papers from Greenwood Development. Now, who could be using these costumes? Why, who else than the last remaining employee? You mean she's the one who lured us with all that delicious food? <laughs> Please, don't take it personally. I had no choice. And to think she would have gotten away with it if it hadn't been for you young city slickers. All right, like you know what that means, Scoob, old pal. Yeah, way much. <laughs> Sure, you... Oh, shucks. Mindy's got the key to the food locker. What? No, wait! Stop! Like, stop the car and come back! We need the key! The key! Ah, keys, keys, keys. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's episode 3 done and... Well, yeah, we're officially halfway through the game. Yep, goal is sandwich ingredients. Make a Texas style barbecue sandwich. <laughs> oh god. It's okay. Let's save again. Now now we're now we're finally getting to the point again where I had trouble with when I was a little kid. Bargains are later, so new mini game unlocked. So, let's move on to episode 4, Bad Choo Choo in the Bayo. Okay. So tell me again why we're driving through a scary bayou in the middle of the night. Our friends at Greenwood Development have just bought this bayou after all the people who lived here ran away. Guess why? Scary <laughs> monsters? That's right, Scooby-Doo. It seems there have been sightings of walking dead around here. Oh, like at least they're not the running dead. <laughs> hmm. Looks like someone wanted to point something at a precise location in the sky. A satellite, maybe? <laughs> I hope they get the cooking channel. Are you sure this is the place? It looks abandoned. And creepy. Like ultra mega creepy. Rupa Dupa creepy. So, what now? Let's split up and look for clues. Like I knew he'd say that. We do. Oh, 
Okay, looks like we finally have zombies to deal with. And this is the point in the game where I started having trouble with when I was a little kid anyway. So yeah, this, this is the point where I would stop making puzzles when I was a little kid, mainly because of course this is where the puzzles start to get pretty damn complex and difficult, but I'll, we'll get into that much later, so it's more gonna who, and I'll see you next time, see you later people.